Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Malurut TV. So today's topic is about um, did Sweden uh, stop student visa? Okay. So the recently, uh, I saw uh, a public uh, chat in a social media uh, where two people they are chatting about this topic actually. So I. I check the chat because it's a public uh, so then I find out that they are talking about uh, this this topic like did they stop they are going to stop the student visa to Sweden uh, so uh, so that's why I thought to just make this content uh, so is it really a FUD or is it a real thing uh, FUD means fear of uncertainty and doubt right i checked their chat from the starting so it start from the uh, content uh, where few we i think few weeks before uh, a migration agency i think migration agency uh, someone i guess uh, published an article that uh, most of the students from uh, pakistan they are dropping the course they are not really studying the course and also some issue this is happening on a major two universities here uh, in Sweden so it starts from there and they're moving to the next side like uh, I think the politician I mean the few again this, or, or, again it is also like a few weeks or a few months back a politician also uh, mentioned that uh, students who are coming from abroad uh, they want to do the uh, professional job instead of the small job which I mentioned in the last video if you didn't watch it please go and check it out so uh, and just uh, go, it's just some of their speculation and it's go on like that right so i can see really there are lots of hatred and lots of uh, unhappiness in the those comments so i thought let's see is there any good this international student like us i also came here as an in, a student so is there any good that an international students are giving to the Swedish society so I did a Google search and I find out uh, an article which is really interesting I didn't know about that one so those uh, link I already given in the description please go and check it out and it says Sweden is getting around 3.5 to 4 billion SEK Swedish krona per year I think it is from 20 to 2021 or something like that all right uh, also out of 10 eight students will stay here right so these students will pay ta income tax as well so that also has been mentioned in that article which is around 800 to 11,300 something SCK million SCK per year from international students right and on the top most students who comes here come as a family right so you know how much it will be to raise a family here and how much cost it will be for kids so it's basically we are more contributing right rather than uh, taking things from the uh, society swedish society now you can see how much an international student and um, how much international students are paying here right and not only that Sweden don't have the human resources like other countries young resource that's what that's what I meant if you search the age group most age group in Sweden is from 45 to 50 or 60 something like that that means in few years they will be get retired right so that that's the reason they are you can see more hiring is happening but those more hiring is happening more in the professional jobs right that those people who are making saying I mean they, they are the two right now right so they're gonna talk to next 10 people so that will slowly spread and make uh, other uh, FUD which is fear and uncertainty to the other people who believe it right so for now I don't think they will they will gonna shut down the and their uh, student visa because it's an easy money to the uh, Swedish government right for the development so does it mean everyone come here 
uh, in a uh, student, student visa or international student or something will be get hired answer is no so that's why i already mentioned in the last video the the politician they are they are saying like an international student why they want to do this kind of a small job here because those can be done by the people here right so they have to look for some professional jobs right so that basically can contribute more and more to the society instead of rather than getting a small income tax and and if you're doing some kind of a smaller job uh, might think may, uh, may think or might think uh, getting a permanent residency uh, can get rid of all these things right yeah it's a good uh, it's a good uh, safe side to play but just th think they already said that in the last proposal even you have a permanent residency they will rethink about your permanent residency so rules are clear now so still i'm saying sweden is such a equality i, I didn't feel any kind of uh, racial issues here and comparing to uk you will get your professional job if you are fully qualified i'm i'm uh, because in uk most people will go for this kind of a career job there is no problem because i did that kind of a job but think they ha they're giving this kind of opportunity here right so try to find your own professional job and it, it will be good for the future you, you because right now we don't know what kind of a law they're gonna bring here right so it's better to start do, uh, doing a job search in your profession now and if you can't find it i would say just because starting a business is super easy here so start a business or something like that in your if you can't find your profession so start the business same in your profession here right so these are the things i want to bring bring uh, bring you because if you find these kind of people talking to you i would say just run far from them as as possible as you can because it's it's kill your dreams plus you will you will not have, enjoy your life here even though you don't achieve everything yet right so stay away from these kind of people who is talking about this kind of uh, negative things i will say instead of cutting down uh, the student visa they will bring more strict laws so uh, that we we are seeing right now slowly slowly right now same like in uk or something they will bring that uh, yeah you can bring your uh, spouse until you get a uh, work permit or something i don't know it can happen and we already seen that in the uk that they stop this psw thing and the flow of students stop there and their uh, student economy went completely down there is an article that i i read that article so that's why they bring back again this psw but they what they did they cut down that you can't bring your real uh, uh, spouse or some someone until you get a job and even there also if you if you are not having a professional job you can't apply in that something like that i don't know the rules there but this is how it was before so be, right now there are more people are coming to sweden so which means they will make make things more harder and stricter right so you may think is it the right time to apply for a uh, student visa to here well it's for the next video's topic so we will discuss about those thing in next video until we see next time bye